Welcome to Newsletter Guru TV, your show with a boatload of smart marketing and business building advice and a little fun along the way. This episode of Newsletter Guru TV is brought to you by Jim Palmer's No Hassle Social Media, the ultimate done-for-you content program. Finally, a fast and easy way to keep feeding your content is king marketing machine. No Hassle Social Media makes it fast and easy to build profitable client relationships using the power of social media, blogs, video, and article marketing. Check it out today at www.nohasslesocialmedia.com. Hey everybody, it's Jim Palmer, the News Editor Guru, and I am committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster. I was reminded of a story the other day, chatting with one of my kids about this life lesson or more of a retail lesson that I taught them. It had to be 20 years ago. Dad, do you remember that thing you told us about vote with your feet and cross the street? And I said, yes, I do. And you know what? That would make a great episode of Newsletter Guru TV. So here's the story. You know, my girls, oh, goodness, they're probably about five. So my two sons were probably like seven and nine, something like that. And um, our VCR broke. Now, when you, when Stephanie's a stay-at-home mom and when you have four kids and <laughs> I'm working all kinds of crazy hours, the VCR does become an important tool in a happy household. And we had this VCR that just broke, so there's no more watching, I don't even know what they're watching at the time, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, who knows, it's not important. But the VCR broke, that's what was important now. We did not have a lot of money back in those days and we were just like struggling and but we could not live without a VCR. Now, where I live in Pennsylvania, we're about half an hour to 45 minutes um, to Delaware where you could save sales tax, and there's no sales tax in Delaware. I said, on a Saturday, I loaded all four kids into our van, and I headed down to Delaware, and I gave Stephanie some free time. Now, it wasn't free time to lounge. I'm quite sure she probably cleaned the house or just said something. But So we headed all the way down to Delaware because as soon as you cross the border into Delaware, there was uh, Circuit City at the time. I'm not sure Best Buy was around, but there was a couple other stores. There was at least four stores literally within well, a one to two block area that sold electronic equipment, stereos, VCRs, etc. So I pulled into the very first stop. I was just going to make my loop, right? I pulled into the first store, took all the kids in the store, and there was probably about, um, I remember two people working in this store. It wasn't a very big store. They were both working. One guy was working over by the stairs with somebody. The other guy was behind the counter, just you know, kind of flipping through some kind of catalog. And here I am with my four kids, and I'm walking in, trying to look at the VCRs, and nobody was paying attention to me. Nobody wanted to help me. Got to be about like five minutes, which for me, having the patience of a gnat, it seemed like about a half an hour because nobody's coming to help me. And I finally walked around by the counter where the guy would see me again, and he didn't look up. <laughs> and that just frosted me because I know how hard I work for my money. And I just feel like, you know, if you're going to spend money with a store, you, you deserve to get service, right? So I told my kids, come on, kids, we're leaving. And all my kids pitched up, no, we can't leave. We need a VCR, Dad. Why are we leaving? I said, we're leaving. Come on. And the guy looked up at that point and said, sir, I'll be with you in just a moment. I can only wait on two customers at one time. And I said, well, I'll just make it real easy for you then. And we left the store, right? And my kids, and so we're getting in the car, and we're going to the next store. And I said, listen, you are a consumer, kids. You, it's your money my money but I said when you're gonna spend money with a store you deserve to be treated a certain way okay it's not a right that they have to customers it's a privilege when a customer comes in your store wants to frequent your business and give you money whether it's ninety nine dollars for VCR or a thousand dollars or twenty five thousand dollars for a car whatever it is and so um, I said listen you vote with your feet and cross the street and that's what we're doing today we're voting with our money to cross the street and go to another store and when we walked in that other store the guy I was honest in about five seconds. I told him what we were looking for, told him the very small budget I had, and he showed us what we had, and we left with one. And that it was just one of those comical moments, but it is it has stuck with my kids for over 20 years. Vote with your feet and cross the street. So where does that, what does that mean for you here on Good News Letter Guru TV? Well, listen, first of all, if you do have a brick and mortar store, you've got to greet your customers. I don't care how many people you have in the store. 
When I was running the bike shops, I had a rule. You greet somebody within three to five seconds. I don't care how many people you're waiting on. You look up and say, how you doing, folks? Thanks for coming in. We'll be with you in just a couple minutes. And anybody can do that, even if there's three people that actually say that. The more, the better. So they're greeted. It, it kind of lets people know, the customer, that you're there. It makes them feel good. Now, what does that mean in the online world? Well, if, you, if somebody comes to your website, first of all, it's all about the instant connection. Do they feel that they're in the right place? I do a lot of kind of website reviews, and I've learned a lot about internet marketing in the last, you know, say six, seven years. And if you send somebody for a direct reason to a general website, there's going to be a total disconnect. As an example, right now I'm doing a very big marketing campaign for the master reseller um, membership for No Hassle Newsletters. Now, if I was to drive people to the general site for No Hassle Newsletters, so in other words, if I mail out a coupon or postcard or, or a sales letter talking about the master reseller opportunity, but I simply send them to a website which is very general about newsletter marketing, there's going to be a disconnect. And they're going to go, I don't know. And, and, no, and you know what? People are too busy. They're not going to search up and down and look for the master reseller opportunity. So we're actually creating a separate website with a video speaking exactly to the master reseller opportunity. So you may have two or three or four, I don't know, you could have 10 different products, programs, services that you offer, whichever one you're promoting, whether it's an email or, again, you could be doing offline direct mail marketing. Send them to a place, if it's appropriate, that answers and says, yes, I'm glad I'm here. This is why I'm here. So you've got to make that connection. Stephanie and I, just the other night, we're looking for where we want a vacation this year, and we're looking up different rental properties up in New England and different places. And some of these websites, you, you know, we do some Google searching and whatever, and it says, wow, you know, homes on the beach or whatever. And so when we get there, it's this big, huge website, and I'm, where do you start? There's like a gazillion links, total disconnect, and me being me with the patience of a gnat, I'm off it, and I'm going down to the next one. So that's what I mean. You have about two or three seconds at the most when somebody lands on your website to make a connection with them. Okay, the big lesson today is people, uh, you as a consumer, will vote with your feet and cross the street, and you have to understand that all the prospective clients that you have for your business are going to vote with their feet and cross the street if you don't take good care of them and if you don't even get the chance because that first impression does not make a connection all right make sure you connect with people in three seconds or less or you're not going to get the chance to show them how great your website materials and product offerings are okay but with your feet and cross the street and that is the lesson for today if you found some value in what I've shared with you I'd appreciate it very much if you would share this episode share newsletter guru TV with your friends and, and Facebook friends, followers, things like that. It's very easy to do. Whether you're watching this on my YouTube channel, on Newsletter Guru TV, or Facebook, or anywhere else you may be seeing it, I'd appreciate it very much if you would click the like button and clear, click the share button. That will put it on your news feed or some other place where other people could see it. Help spread the word of my smart marketing and business building advice. Before the day's out, look for ways that you can add value to what it is that you offer your customers, clients, and patients. When you add more value on top of your already awesome core service, add more value, wrap it up with world-class service, your customers, clients, and patients will stay longer. When they stay longer and they're more engaged with your business, they will spend more and refer more, and that's always a great thing. Before the day's out, go do something nice for somebody. Hold the door, wave them into traffic, Mention a nice compliment as you're standing in line at the movies. Hey, that's a great coat. Do something to put a smile on somebody's face. This is the year we're all going to be a little bit nicer to each other, okay? My name is Jim Palmer, the Newsletter Guru, and I am committed to helping you build a more profitable business faster. And I'll see you next week for another great episode. You take care.